Now, but this is getting in the UK. I'm glad you brought you to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And good evening. Today is December 7th, 2009. Time is 5 p.m. The regular meeting of the Greensburg Board of Wars is called to order. Roll call vote, please, Jim. Her. Here. Rodney. Here. Linda. Here. Steve. Here. 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 Uh, we've got approval of the minutes of the regular November 2nd, 2009 meeting. And also, you're aware of the special Board of Wars meeting we had on November 16th. Uh, those minutes were also in the packet. <coughs> We can approve them together if there are no additions or amendments or changes. I didn't see any. I would go ahead and approve those. Second. Roll call vote, please, Jim. Mm -hmm. Roger. Upstate. Linda. Yep. <laughs> well, on the 16th. Yeah, Linda was here for one of them. Yes. I wonder about that. I was going to say. Ronnie, you were here also. He was on November 2nd. Yeah, you're abstaining on the one on the 16th. Say, you're both abstaining on the 16th. Yes. Yeah, approving the other. It is correct. Okay. Steve? Yes. 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 First uh, item on the agenda tonight seems to be no old business, new business, Brian Robbins for the winter market. Hello. Uh, we're looking uh, after the success of our, our last, I guess it would be our fourth year of the farmer's market there on the square. Uh, we've had requests by both the uh, customers and the vendors actually to see if we can uh, hold a winter market here in Greensburg. Winter, winter markets are not as, as, as frequent as, as the uh, summer farmers market, which is every Friday. These would be uh, held once a month, and we were looking for a location, uh, and honestly, the best location we thought that was still in a, in a walking distance of downtown and such would be uh, the gymnasium here at the City Hall. Um, it would be on a Saturday, roughly from 9 to, tw 9 to, 9 to noon, It'd be the third Saturday of every month going up to, say, April. Um, this would be one of the few farmers, uh, winter's markets in the area. Bloomington has one, but in this region, really, this, this would be kind of unique. Uh, so we would expect some, some different vendors uh, in addition to those who, who expressed interest uh, uh, during the summer this year. Um, we realized this would be a new venture for the city uh, and let it uh, use something like that and that the gymnasium like this. Our, our insurance uh, does cover, I, I made sure, our Tree City's insurance covers the fact uh, of voluntary and accident um, that why, uh, that the coverage is there uh, from our insurance in that case. Um, but again, it would be, we would probably want to open up around 8 o'clock in the morning, let them come in, set up, open it all up for 9 and then uh, shut it down at noon, and probably we have everything closed up by about one o'clock. Uh, and this would be the third third Saturday of every month, uh, and not every month, excuse me, up to about April from the start. We would love to start December, but we understand if, if things can can progress that quickly, we can move it to January. It, it'd be something we would try, um, and we feel we would like to have it uh, still. In, the, in uh, as close to part of the city as we can, uh, where people can still walk. Um, you, you don't have a, a long drive, say, out to the fairgrounds or so. Um, it's a more of a, a community uh, event, and uh, we we're just going to try to throw it out and see uh, what you guys thought as far as use of the gymnasium for, for such an event. So when would be the last month? When, uh, probably April. Uh, a lot of that would depend on, on what the vendors had. Uh, primarily what you're going to have uh, for these markets are, are the ones who have meat. Um, you'll have some baked goods, you'll have some crafts, you'll have uh, um, some people have, have uh, hot houses and stuff for tomatoes and that. so you get some vegetables. But not, not quite the variety you'd have but you, uh, uh, during the summer but still uh, you know, some, some nice items and that's 
also be a good uh, money maker for the, the local community, you know, those who have uh, little, uh, some entrepreneurial businesses and stuff, be able to have an outlet for them as well as the region is, uh, itself. So. How would uh, people get in and out of the gym? It would probably be through the two doors there. Um, that's what also made it so attractive is that if we would be able to lock the other doors to the city hall, because we obviously we don't want people walking around yeah, the, city, the city hall. We can open up the, the I guess these corner doors here. They uh, they're wide enough to where they can load in and unload in. It's ramp access, as I recall, out there. Uh, you have a, a great uh, parking area here, um, and we feel. Uh, I think there's a, is there a restroom in the, in the gymnasium? Is there a small one there? No. No. Not, not, not here. There's one in the road. Okay. That, um, you know, we, we can address that issue if, if need be. But, uh, um, yeah, I, I, you know, none of us have any, any, uh, we want to be able to shut off the rest of the city hall so people aren't going around or anything like that. Kathy, you have a comment? Yeah. The, the thing with locking the other doors is it breaks fire code. Did you know that? Um, and as far as a restroom, there's not one. It has to be ADA compliant. The restroom? So, mm -hmm. Okay. And there's not one in that area to be that is ADA compliant. Okay. Chief? No, this is the first I heard this, but I, I uh, think you would need to consider either the Board of Works uh, security of the premises being down in the building, uh, you know, with private businesses being allowed to be business in the building. That, uh, that area would need to be addressed uh, to make sure that the building stays secure and uh, things are maintained since it is after hours on the weekend. Yeah, we all stuff we According to the fire code, how many <coughs> are required? It's based off of the number of people that would be in there. Again, in most cases, there's no way you're going to lock those doors down. There's no lock mechanisms in place on them. So um, once you're inside, it's a matter of hitting the pan of cardboard to get out. So and, and I, I don't necessarily see that being too big of an issue. Uh, but again, the, the bathroom issue, I think, would, would become one. And I definitely agree with Brian on the uh, security issues. Your exit is based on occupant loading. The gym's based on a certain volume. So... But they would still be able to exit down those yeah, hallways no and all that. There's, there's no way you can do it. So. Well, yeah, lock, lock maybe was a bad term to use. I mean, we can only set vendors up in front of But again, as long as you've got some type of security in the building, I don't know that it matters whether you've got certain areas locked down or whatever. But I mean, you could. Well, I could be here to make sure everybody, we can, we can definitely do that just to make sure. I, I mean, the main point is not to have people running off. And there are, there are restrooms in that north north south hallway over there but again we've got other occupants that utilize that so again we would have possibly a security issue if if uh, necessary again, one bathroom says handicap but i don't know, I know it doesn't meet the okay. so the issues are security security ada approved restroom is it required for something like this? Well, as far as a, you know, uh, we would be a nonprofit. If it takes place in, in a public building, is it required? If it's, if it's an event in the public building, it's public tech fair, I'm going to, I would, I would, uh, I would fix that. I, I assume, assume uh, incorrectly, that because uh, Roseman has one, the uh, Learning Center has one there. The gym, I think it is the same. So, um, well, uh, obviously, those aren't going to be. Uh, yeah, we'll have to go back to the drawing board probably at yeah, least the, the restroom if not the security issue as, as well because we obviously don't want to, to, to endanger the, the building or, or anybody inside it. Uh, we just feel that this was a, the largest area and the easiest access and, and the central location uh, for something like that. Uh, so we'll have to... What's the board's opinion on something? How much interest do you think there's going to be in the intermarket? Well, we had yeah. at least eight customers, I mean vendors already, yeah. saying that they want to, to uh, sell there. We also, uh, because it is one of the only ones in the region, um, we probably will attract new vendors who, all, who are always looking for a, a way to sell, you know, as many outlets as possible to sell their stuff. Um, so, you know, it, it's a try. It would be a trial run. This is the first time we've ever, you know, really considered anything like this, and it'd be the first time that 
until I have a demand. Uh, we don't.